Hi everyone, today we will be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel simulate project. Now the Seymour HMI uh, panel programming software has a simulation mode and this simulator will allow you to test your project before transferring it to the panel. Testing your application is a vital step in HMI programming development. This feature of the software will save you time and money, especially if your hardware is not available. And so far today, what we've done is uh, created our software uh, or created our PLS or our HMI uh, program and then transferred to the software to see how it runs. Today, we're going to take our existing software, our our common screen menu that we created last time, and then look at it through the simulation mode. So up on my screen here, here's my software that we had last time. And if we go to uh, file, under file, you'll see the um, simulation located right here, or across the top of our screen here on our main menu, you'll see our simulation. We can also hit F5, you'll notice that do the simulation. So hitting simulation, we will select which panel we are programming right now, which is the EA9 T10CL, and we will go ahead and hit start. And the simula simulator will actually mimic the actual HMI panel screen. And here we have um, we have two screens displayed. The first one is our graphical display, and this is what the actual HMI will actually look like on the actual hardware. And then the other one is our simulation control panel. And you can see this is where we can look at um, all the different tags and then toggle them. And we can make this screen bigger or smaller. We'll make it a little bigger so we can see everything. And you'll notice here that this is our screens itself. So we have three screens. We have a common screen, screen two, screen one. And then we have our tag list for that screen that we've selected. And that's how it works. So over here, um, if we're on to our display screen, we can actually um, activate say our start button and you will see on our start button is MC1 here this is the top one and you will see it going on and off as I press the start button same with the stop button stop button is MC2 which is right here you will see it's going on and off as I press that uh, button and our jog same thing so you'll notice that our PLC program is not really solving the logic, so we have to mimic that logic through this uh, control panel. So our MC1, what we do is right now it's off, so if we turn it on by double clicking, the light will turn on. So we can test all of our inputs, test all of our outputs, and see if our screen's working correctly the way we want it to. Then we have our common screen menu at the bottom. Let's hit a select screen. And then what we can do is go, this is my screen selection, I can go to screen two, which is our screen two. Then if you see, I can hit the previous screen. We can hit the main screen, which is the same one, the forward screen. So this all seems to be working exactly as it did in the actual hardware that we programmed and saw this. So the next thing we can do is actually look at some of the um, change this a little bigger here and you'll see that we have our our start screen um, so what we can do is we can look at our select or switch to screen and let's put the number two in there for screen number two we hit enter and we covered this in our panel to PC and PLC to panel and what you'll see is now we're in screen number two so using these settings in our our control window so again if I double click go back to zero what will happen is it will go back to um, the oh, wrong one switch screen here we'll go back to zero hit enter and we go back to the previous screen, which is screen number one. So that screen selection, we can select which screen that we want to go to, but then when we hit zero, it will go back to the previous screen that it was on. 
and then you'll see here my current screen number reflects what number I'm on. So if I were to go here and I can double click on screen number two, I automatically go there. If I want to see my common screen menu, I can go there and see it. And each time you'll notice that the tag list populates to what is actually on that screen itself. So remember that detailed information in this video can be found at accautomation.ca and a link's been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will also be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So as you see, we can quickly uh, test our program using our simulation mode. And once again, remember that this is not running the logic in your program, so you must manually set each one to determine if the functionality should be correct. Okay. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our two free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually see those notifications coming to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.